Canada's 2015 federal election marked a turning point in the troubled relationship between Canada and the Métis Nation. During the election campaign, the Liberal Party under Justin Trudeau unveiled a bold Métis Nation policy, advancing and achieving reconciliation for the Métis Nation. Canadians want change. They want real change. This policy recognized that reconciliation with the Métis Nation required the federal government to negotiate and reach just and lasting settlements of the unique rights and claims of the Métis Nation, as well as to collaborate with Métis Nation governments in improving social and economic conditions of Métis people. Shortly after assuming office, the Trudeau government acted quickly on its commitments. It entered into negotiations with the Manitoba Métis Federation in order to settle the outstanding land claim of the Manitoba Métis community that had been recognized by the Supreme Court of Canada in 2013. It also began negotiations with all the MNC's governing members to resolve Métis rights protected by Section 35 of the Constitution Act 1982, recognize Métis self-government, and resolve outstanding Métis claims against the Crown. In December 2016, at a meeting with the leadership of the Métis Nation, the Assembly of First Nations and the Inuit, the Prime Minister unveiled a new permanent bilateral mechanism his government would establish with each of the Indigenous people's national representative bodies. Through this mechanism, the Prime Minister committed himself and his ministers to regular meetings with the Métis Nation leadership, to jointly set annual priorities, develop policies toward their implementation, and monitor progress. On April 13, 2017, Prime Minister Trudeau, Métis Nation President Chartier, and the presidents of the MNC governing members signed the Canada Métis Nation Accord during the first Métis Nation Crown Summit in Ottawa. I am personally committed to working with the Métis Nation as a distinct Indigenous community. That's work we'll be doing not just today, but for years to come. Together, we can advance not only your rights, but also your rightful place as partners in Confederation. And today, we'll be looking at some of the things that the Métis National Council has identified as its priorities. We'll also spend some time talking about the recent budget to ensure that as we move forward, we have a distinctions-based approach to our relationship so that we can make sure that our investments work for the Métis Nation. I've been encouraged by your engaging in this process with us. I think it's very good. It portends, it signals that there is a desire to actually get down to work, real work, at, at the table. and. Uh, I see great hope at the end of the day that we are going to achieve what we set out to do today. The Accord marked a significant step toward a nation-to-nation, government-to-government relationship based on recognition of rights, respect, cooperation and partnership. It outlined ways in which the Government of Canada and the Métis National Council and its governing members would work together to set priorities and co-develop policy in areas of shared interest. Well, the Permanent Bilateral Forum with the Métis Nation is incredibly important in terms of our relationship between the Métis Nation and Canada. It's at this forum that we gather together on a regular basis with ministers of our government and representatives of the Métis Nation across the country to talk about what the priorities are for the Métis Nation. This particular conference is, is going to be essential uh, for good ideas, uh, good direction to come from here and how it's going to translate to where the budget is going and where Canada wants to go with the Métis Nation. We had an opportunity to meet yesterday with um, several federal cabinet ministers and talk about the great work that's happening with, uh, with the federal government and the Métis Nation and there's certainly a lot more work today to do. What better place in education to be able to reconcile what has been taken away from us, our language, our identity, our culture. It gives me great pleasure to be among friends and family and talking about the future of Métis education in the Métis homeland. I'd like to welcome you to this very important session that we're having today and tomorrow. It's about our culture and who we are and how important it is to keep our language alive and preserved. 
We need to find a way to end the whole process that allows our children to be taken away from us. The best people for our children is us. We have the single largest population of kids in care of any one nation. The EDI scores for the Métis in Manitoba show that we are below the Manitoba standard. It means that there aren't enough programs offered to our kids. We are talking about systems that really have been imposed on us. It's not about systems that we have created. If we want to eliminate chronic disease in society, we need to take a much more serious look at the social determinants of health. Our main goal is just to get Métis cancer needs on the map. Housing is at the core of a lot of different things. Uh, but health being one of them. So if you uh, live in a, uh, a dry, uh, safe, uh, secure place, um, you're probably going to have better health prospects. We need to educate our people about drug and alcohol addiction. Our elders had the foresight to say we have to get Métis teachers in the schools not just to affirm the culture and values of our our own families and children, but so that other people see us as being capable of leadership positions. Climate change and the environment are one of those sort of cross-cutting issues. And um, we had identified it early in the process as being something we needed to pay attention to. The Métis Nation is only one voice amongst other Canadian voices, and that's a position we want. We want to be at every table where policy is developed for Canadians that affects Canadians because we are Canadians and we have distinct needs and values and perspectives. We want to make sure the Métis get back involved in the environment like we used to. We've been pushed away from running our own communities, our own uh, control of programming and exercising our traditional knowledge uh, in the past. We'd like to bring that back. Ultimately what we need is we need Métis specific and Métis developed methodologies. Like we can work within a larger context, but we always have to ensure that we're doing and getting what the Métis need for ourselves. Under the Accord, priorities for the first year included employment and training, early learning and childcare, and housing. These priorities were then the subject of considerable work and regular meetings of senior officials from Canada and the Métis Nation, with oversight provided at two meetings of federal ministers and Métis Nation leaders. For the first time, the Métis Nation was dealing with Canada as a partner rather than adversary. Last fall we met with the ministers and we provided our asks for what we'd like to see in Budget 2018 and we were successful. Budget 2018, for the first time in the history of the Métis Nation, saw substantive programs and services to be delivered by our governments to our people. Budget 2018 marked the first federal budget with distinctions-based Indigenous funding, including unprecedented investments in Métis Nation employment and training, early learning and childcare, and housing. The tone was set for the second Crown Métis Nation Summit, with the Prime Minister on June 15, 2018. Here, the Prime Minister and Métis Nation leaders reviewed progress made during the first year of the Canada-Métis Nation Accord and confirmed priorities for the coming year, including education, health, Métis veterans, the new fiscal relationship, child and family services, and economic development. Do you want to specifically thank uh, leaders within the Métis Nation for having uh, shown uh, such vision and um, not just putting energy into this process but also putting trust into this process. The process has paid off. Ministers have listened and worked with us and budget 2018 is the first time in the history of the Métis Nation that the federal budget has dealt with us on a distinctions-based approach. Beginning the process of providing programs and services for people. The Métis Nation Accord that our, our national organization uh, has, has embarked upon with the Prime Minister of Canada and his ministers is, is breathtaking in a sense. It has, get, it has given us new hope. Uh, 
It's given us that we, we do matter. It's also given us the, the strength, I guess, to understand that this government and this Prime Minister recognizing our value in Confederation, our value as Canadians and our value as the Métis Nation. And this accord, I think, is, is lending uh, uh, the pathway to get there. A sub-accord on Métis Nation skills and employment was signed by Minister of Employment, Workforce Development and Labour, Patricia Hadju, and the Métis Nation leadership, the first of the sub-accords that will determine how budget allocations for the Métis Nation will be spent. This marks today another major step forward in this nation-to-nation -nation relationship. It, we're signing the first sub-accord, the Métis Nation Skills and Employment Training Accord. And this sub-accord reaffirms our commitment to a renewed government-to-government -government relationship based on recognition of rights and respect, cooperation and partnership. And it outlines the way that our government and the Métis National Council and governing members will work together to improve the well-being of Métis people. At this time, I particularly want to uh, pay tribute to President David Chartrand, our Minister of Social Development, who has spearheaded the effort to get us to where we are today, where we're signing a significant document which is going to prove a significant benefit to our citizens as we move forward you know, with the next stages of our life as a newly revitalized and strong Métis nation. I think the stability of knowing that the $625 million agreement it's going to make uh, it very clear to our citizens there's, there's a long-term agreement and long-term strategic ability that exists now. This is about transforming generations and making sure that people have abilities to improve their skills, their training, their education in a culturally appropriate way designed by Métis people for Métis people. The Canada-Métis Nation Accord reflects Canada's commitment to work with the Métis Nation to co-develop policies and programs and drive progress toward the Métis Nation's vision of self-determination. By entering into a government-to-government, nation-to-nation process of engagement with the Government of Canada under Prime Minister Trudeau, the Métis now have a solid foundation upon which to move forward with a respectful, renewed Métis Nation crown relationship for the benefit of all Canadians.